Hello and welcome to my second uh, Oath of the Gatewatch draft. Um, I am not sure what to pick in this pack, and I'm actually going to check something really quick, namely how much Wandering Fumeral is online, um, because I am a total value drafter. I have no confidence in my skills at all, and I want to know if I can make money another way as well. Um, MTG Goldfish, it's a buck eighty-five. Eh, I don't know if that's worth it. I think uh, right now it's actually between Storm Chaser Mage. I don't want to pick a double color card really first off. If I do, I should probably pick Wandering Fumeral. Um, but Isolation Zone is also really great. Uh, hmm. So really between Wandering Fumeral, uh, Storm Chaser Mage, and Isolation Zone. Not 100% sure what to do. Dwarven Flames is pretty great. I'll just reserve this for now. I mean, the problem is if I take Wandering Fumeral and Storm Chaser Mage, I'm just going to take Isolation Zone. If I took Storm Chaser Mage and Isolation Zone, uh, or uh, Storm Chaser Mage and Wandering Fumeral, those are two I was debating between, I was definitely going to end up competing with somebody in the second pack. Um, so I think Isolation Zone was just a better pick. But here we have one white card, and it's not very good. Overwhelming Denial I don't think is very good either. Smurge Boneyard is okay. Cinder Hellion's okay. Comparative Analysis is okay. Just a lot of okay stuff in here right now. Um, I think I'll go either with uh, Scythe Master or the Comparative Analysis. I th don't think they're too close. I think Comparative Analysis is significantly better. But I'll just go with Comparative Analysis. It's, I mean, neither of them are that good, but. I think comparative analysis is a little bit better. I also don't mind blue white, so. Hmm. Corrupted Crossroads. Cinder Barons, another comparative analysis. Boulder Salvo. I like Boulder Salvo. Um, I like Blinding Drone. Not a big fan of Yon's Blessing. I like Scion Summoner. Hmm. Only to cast spells with the Void. Could take the Boulder Salvo here. I could take the other comparative analysis. Hmm. I could take Corrupted Crossroads and go for a uh, Devoid deck. Hmm. It's really between these three, though. Blinding Drone, Boulder, Salvo, and Comparative Analysis. Uh, I kind of want to try and stay in color as much as I can. Um, but Boulder, Salvo is significantly better than Comparative Analysis. But I'm going to go with the Boulder, Salvo. It's just a two-mana killer creature. And here we have Roiling Waters as well. Cultivator Drone, Jabar Isle Avenger. These are all very good cards. Um... I think I'm going to go with the Roiling Waters, though. I think on pure power level, it's the best card. I can go with the Joar Isle Avenger, or the Expedite, even. Try and start getting a Surge deck going. I'm going to go with the Roiling Waters, though. It's a very strong card. Um, now we have Meandering River, we have Grip of the Royal, we have Cultivator Drone, Gravity Indicator. Um... I think I'm going to go with the Grip. Uh, I think this is actually looking like it's going to start being a... Uh, there's a lot of blue coming around, I, and I like that. Uh, this, I mean, it looks like a very... It looks like I'm going towards a uh, Surge deck. I'm just Hedron alignment. It can't be that much, right? I'm going to reserve this Cultivator Drone, because I think that's the best card in the pack. Hedron alignment... Uh, Ascent. So never, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take this Cultivator Drone. Uh, that's a powerful card. Um, next up, we've got another Boulder Salvo. We need to start getting some cards that uh, turn all this on. Some slip through spaces. I saw a couple, and I think I saw a couple x as well. Um, so hopefully we get a couple of those on the wheel. Um, though they are good cantrips in themselves. Isolation zone is looking less and less likely. 
All right, here we've got Cinder Helene, which is a very powerful card. We've got another Cultivator Drone. Hmm. Just a five mana four four with Trample. It's not a bad card in this set at all. Uh, or do I want the another Cultivator Drone? I think I'm going to try and cut blue as much as possible. Uh, here we've got the slip through space, or we got Goblin Freerunner. They're both quite good cards. Uh, I think I'm going to need to start picking up some stuff to enable this surge, so I'm going to take that. Uh, here, sweep away or overwhelming denial. I don't think that I'm going to be playing enough things that overwhelming denial will be good, so I'll just take the sweep away. I do like it. This isolation zone is looking less and less likely. I'm also regretting uh, not picking the Wandering Fumeral with the Storm Chaser Mage at this point, because I, I think we're going to have a hard, rough time with it in this next pack. Uh, here I'm going to go with the Cinder Barons. Right? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Cinder Barons in case we want to splash something that's black. Cinder Hellion, I do not mind picking that up. Uh, another Cinder Hellion, sure. Why not? Tears of Battle Kits, uh, okay sideboard card, not good. Not great. Not not anything really, it's just eh. Just eh. How'd this all get messed up? One, two, three, four, five. You get over here. You get over here. Five, six, seven. Uh, you know, just in case it ever becomes a thing. I doubt it will, but I'll take it. All right, now I think we're going to get wrecked in this pack, truthfully. I mean, we're in what was open, coming this way. But, I mean, we passed a Wandering Fumeral, and we passed a Storm Chaser Mage. Uh, and I can't imagine they got that many... Uh, they went that many people before they got picked. Uh, here we can either take Reckless Bushwhacker or Reality Hemorrhage. I am on the side of the cheap removal spell that can also enable... Uh, surge for us. We might get uh, Bushwhacker on the wheel. Who knows? Umar and Tango would also be pretty cool to pick up. And we've got another Bushwhacker. Uh, is there anything in this pack that is better? Uh, Profit of Distortion is okay and it enables Surge, but it's not something you really hold on to. You're just kind of running it out there. Um, it also dies really easily. Uh, so Free Runner or Bushwhacker. I will go with the Bushwhacker here. Uh, I feel like Free Runners are a little bit easier to pick up. I also wouldn't mind another comparative analysis in this deck. Hmm. We got Zadus Commando, we got Joar Isle Avenger. Uh, Cliffhaven Vampire is a very good card. Joar Isle Avenger, Zadus Commando, I think, are the two I'm debating between. How many allies do I have? I have five creatures. Got, I have one ally. Uh, so you're not really going to be doing that much. I'm going to go with the Joarl Avenger then. Hmm. It's interesting putting these where... I mean, you're going to have to have a few ways to activate them. And I'm just not sure if I'm there yet, really. It's interesting, like, building your curve around them, though. Because I don't really know where to put them. Just while deck building here, that I mean. I would love a Pyromancer's Assault, though. I would love a Pyromancer's Assault. Hmm. Next up, we got Expedite, Sweep Away, Ancient Crab, Sears Lantern. Mean and Den really are an option for us at the moment. I think I'm gonna go with expedite. I want to get I want to get a couple more of these cantrips. I think at least one more of the cantrips. Uh, you don't need infinite ways to activate surge with your uh, people. I found. I mean, I was playing sealed whenever I played the surge deck, so uh, maybe that is not true. But Come on, people. Let's get moving. Let's 
Submerged Boneyard, Flare Drone, Umara Entangler. Don't mind an Umara Entangler. Brute Strength is okay. Submerged Boneyard. Uh, that'd be our second Black Source. That's not. That would not be awful to pick up right here. Uh, we could pretty much splash any black cards that we find in the uh, next pack. Problem is that Flare Drone is in this pack with it, which is something that I would like to take. Uh, or there's Umara and Tangler, which is pretty good in the heavy spell deck that we've got going right now. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with the Smurge Boneyard, though. Uh, just the options it opens up to us. Is that right? That's probably so wrong. I'm going to go with the Umara and Tangler. Never mind. Uh, that would have been so wrong, what I was debating. Uh, now here we've got uh, Kozilek's Translator, which is pretty good. Uh, Gravity Negator, which is pretty good. We do need a 4-drop, and we've also got Warden, which can help ramp us. Um, so between Gravity Negator and Warden, there's also a Maw of Kozilek. I actually don't mind a Maw of Kozilek. Uh, do I want ramp? I'm just gonna take the maw here. It's a good four drop. Next up, we got comparative analysis, cinder hellion, void shatter, and mind melter. These are all good cards. Uh, we can splash the mind melter. Uh, just like four mana, get that card out of here. That's not bad. Void shatter is pretty good. Cinder hellion. Hmm. These are all pretty good cards, actually. I think I'm going to take the Void Shatter. On pure power level, it's not the best. Uh, I think Mind Melter is the best, but I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to splash that yet. Um, now, do I take the Slip or do I take the Maw? We also have Kozlex Path Pathfinder, which isn't the worst uh, finisher. I'm going to take the. I'm going to take the. the, the I think that's the last. Uh, uh, Surge Enabler I need, and that gives me the Reckless Bushwhacker, which gives me uh, this Goblin Free Runner, which I don't mind. Um, and then Abstruse Interference. Is that good? There's also Spark Mage's Gambit, uh, which is not a bad way to enable Surge. I think I'd rather have the Spark Mage's Gambit. I'm not, I don't know if I'll play it, but I'll throw it in the board. Uh, Ancient Crab is actually not a bad pickup. I'll take a Brute Strength for the board. Who knows? It's a very odd looking curve right here. We, although we have 22 playable cards right at the moment, which I'm not mad about. I would really like to pick up some sort of uh, like creature finisher. I'm not going to take a Corpse Churn. Get out of here. I would not mind a. Hmm. What do I want out of this pack? I would not mind a. Uh, what's it called? Rune processor. Uh, is there a good six? I wouldn't mind one of the vigilant guys, one of the vigilant six sixes that you can rebuy. By what sacking scions or something like that? Drana, she's got to be worth something, right? Because as I said, I have zero shame. Uh, what else would I take out of this pack? Uh, probably Windrider Patrol or Benthic Infiltrator. Uh, Drana, Liberator of Malakir. Is worth 350. Ah, oh, is that worth it? Yeah, I think so. Ugh, I feel bad, but you know what? No shame. I don't feel bad. That's a, that's that was actually just a total lie. I don't feel bad. Would a Wind Rider Patrol make this deck and be very good in it? Yeah, but you know, what else can make the deck Sire of Stagnation. There's also Bane of Balagad. Oh, 
Eldrazi Devastator is not inspiring. Resolute Blade Master is pretty cool, but I can't really splash that. Looming Spires, no. Wavewing Elemental is pretty good. I'm going to take the Sire, though. I can splash it uh, with the Cinder Barons. Uh, hopefully, I got like a Pilgrim's Eye or something. I would love to get a Pilgrim's Eye here or an Evolving Wilds. Hmm. Scour, I actually kind of like in this format. There's also Cloud Manta. There's also Horribly Awry. Hmm. Cloud Manta, Horribly Awry, Scour. How many removal spells do I have? I have Boulder Salvos. A reality hemorrhage, a sweep void, a void shatter. That's really it. Yeah, I might be able to pick up a scour here in a little bit. I'm just gonna take the cloud manta, I think. I think that's the best card uh, for my deck. Yeah, sure. Painful truths. I could actually probably cast that as well. Um, Brilliant Spectrum, not going to play you. Ghostly Sentinel, can't play you. Stone Fury is a good card. But, you know, I might actually play the Painful Truths. I'm just going to take you. Now I really wish I had grabbed that... Uh, Blue black submerged boneyard over the Amara Entangler. Although again, the Amara Entangler is gonna be pretty good in our deck, with all the spells that we have. Hmm. Our deck makes some cuts. Merc Strider, Nettle Drone. How many colorless cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Is that good enough for Nettle Drone? Turn against, I'm not really interested in. Merc Strider, how many ways do I have to exile? Uh, one. One. So I'm not really going to be turn nine at all. Uh, I'll go with the Nettle Drone, yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. Omnath. Well, like, I'm not going to be able to cast you, and I don't think you're worth much. There's a lot of uh, just big old cards going around right now. Um, hmm. So, Benthic Infiltrator, Vestige of Emrakul, Incubator Drone. These are all interesting choices. I could take the Benthic Infiltrator. I'm going to go with the Vestige, I think, though. Yeah. Uh, now I wish I had taken the Benthic Infiltrator, because Ulamog's the spoiler is a pretty good finisher if you can get it turned on. Is there anything else in this pack that I could take? I'm going to go with this. I doubt I'll play it. March from the Tomb. Jeez, there's just a lot of weird stuff going around in this last pack. Uh, I will take the Coral Helm Guide, because it's all right when you get a board stall. Uh, oh, sweet! Benthic Infiltrator. There we go. Uh, here, cohort. No grave birthing. No wave wing. Sure. Yeah, you know, probably. There's a. I don't think a lot of cuts. Um, oh God, there's just nothing here. Uh, I'll take the swamp. Uh, I'll take the island. take cards that are actually worth something. Might actually end up in my deck. Oh god, a Pilgrim's Eye or a Evolving Wild. It's just one. It would have been so beautiful. At this point though, I may actually have to cut the Sire and the Painful Truths. Mm. 
get the crumble to dust. I might end up putting that in my uh, sideboard in uh, modern. All right, so what have we got here? I don't want you. Let's group these things separately. Group creatures separately. Um, so let's call you a two drop. Let's call you a two drop as well. Three drop. Uh, I'm looking like a pretty aggressive deck, honestly. Uh, got the land for now. Um. Huh. Yeah, I'm looking aggressive, but how aggressive am I actually? Like compared to opponents? No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Alright, well, I'm not going to play you. I've got a Benthic Infiltrator, and I've got the Void Shatter. It's going to cost me two cards to do that. Hmm. How many colorless sources do I have? I really just have these Cultivator Drones. Is that good enough for Maw? I think so. Um, hmm. This is tough. I'm at 28 right now? How low do I want to get my curve? You guys aren't actually two drops. I'm never actually going to cast two and two. Because that would be impossible. Probably three drops, I guess. At best. Uh, hmm. I think I'll cut one of the Cinder Hellions. Cut the Cloud Banta. Would I rather cut the Sire or the Despoiler? I think I want both. Uh, this might be a 16 land... No, it's going to be a 17 land deck still. I was thinking it might be a 16 land deck just because I have three cantrips and a comparative analysis. Uh, and a grip, which is kind of like a cantrip. Uh, but... Probably not, actually. And here... I've got 14 creatures and 12 spells. You'll cut the sweep away, because if I want to be attacking, I don't want that kind of thing. Alright, I kind of want to cut one of these six drops still. Don't know if any of this is right, by the way. I've got like a really weird curve for an aggressive deck. You know, this probably isn't going to be turned on, which means I don't really want to play that, and I think that brings me down to 17. In which case, I mean, I've got a bunch of cantrips and draw spells. That can help me find the sire, or the uh, mana for the sire. Uh, yeah. All right, well, i got to hurry up and put lands in. Jeez. Uh, forgot about, I'm doing a quick build. Uh, so this is 628. See what that looks like. So that's 738. It's not awful. Uh, yeah, I actually kind of like this. Um, seven enough red though. I probably, I might be able to cut one more now. I think I'll leave it like this. This might be wrong. This could be totally the wrong build, but we're going to find out. Alright, I'll see you in round one.